Hello, my friend. Welcome to Valentina Designs Universe. This is my first show. I am Valentina Cirasola, and I am your host. In my series uh, called Valentina Design Universe, I will bring you topics of homes, style, fashion, travel, food, music, everything that will make you feel good, inspired, and entertained most of all. Today's show is about gold. The gold is a treasure color. It's one of the colors I prefer the most because I think it has an energetic power. So, what, are you afraid of colors? Uh, do you always think that if you wear colors, you will be the center of attractions and everybody will see you? Or are you stuck on those colors that you might have been wearing 10, 20, 30 years ago? Well, don't be afraid of colors. Because, first of all, if you are, if you use the color right, the colors will change your vital forces. And it will attract people to you. It will attract positive situation. And it basically will open door, doors. Um, colors, it um, will renew your spirit. When we decorate or when we wear color, colorful garments, mixing, matching, coordinating is not all that we do with colors. There is much more to that. Colors are sensations. Colors relate to our emotions and they will also um, flow energy through our chakra. I will explain later, uh, a little bit later on, this thought. But I said, why did I say before that gold is a treasure color? Aside from the fact that it is a high price and is very shiny. I mean, if we own gold in the bank, we're very basically rich. But gold is associated with entrepreneurial people, people who are uh, goal-oriented. Uh, it will give us self-esteem, will make us feel good, independent. Why? Because if we are um, developing our goals and everything is coming through, we feel really good, we feel our positive thoughts are make our, our, our life uh, better. And um, basically, we feel independent. We're most likely, we're making money, too, at the same time, if the goals are work-related. But let's say the light of gold, it's like the light of sun. If we expose ourselves for a short time of, of uh, period in the day, under the ultraviolet rays, we will recharge our batteries. We feel happy, positive, and we also will manufacture vitamin D that helps uh, supply the calcium that our bones need. And with the lack of vitamin Ds and a lack of calcium, that's when osteoporosis starts. And we don't want to do that. So it's beneficial to be under the sunlight, which is the gold light, every day, at least for 30, day, 30 minutes a day. So if the gold light is good for our bones, the gold color is good for our emotions. We feel energized when we have gold around us. 
we feel positive thoughts. In fact, in colder places, when people live under this, in places where there is snow and uh, rains and there's a lot of gray days, they don't much feel like doing much and uh, they are mostly inside. But when they are, when we live in sunny areas, what we tend to do, outdoor activities, and we tend to be very happy because we're under the sun. So in the morning, we should have a practice. We should get up and go closer to where we see the sun, a balcony, a terrace, um, a yard, a backyard, a garden, and ha salute the sun first and have a conversation with the sun. I mean, you don't have to do a treatise with the sun, just enough to say, hello sun, I'm here, and I am willing to accept any good things and positive energy you're sending me. That's it, stay there, soak the sun energy, and then go on and do your business, make coffee and go to work. So now our body is mapped out with seven chakra, which we don't really see them. Where are they in our bodies? They, we don't see them. They are, for, they are there for our um, subdual body. These are called also, the chakra are called the um, physical uh, nodes or energy, uh, f flowing energy around us. So they are about seven of the same colors and um, they are from the top of our head. In fact, if we look at uh, uh, my drawings of the chakra, they are from the top of our head to the root of our body down below. And they are different, they have different colors and they all do something. The gold uh, color, it's located here in the center of our body. It is, it's the most powerful area of the body. It's located between the orange, the sacral, right here, the sacral chakra, and the green, the heart chakra, up above. The gold light is located one or two inches above the navel area, and it is, that's why it's called the navel chakra as well, is the most powerful and most important emotional center of our body. Have you ever heard the expression, I feel it in my gut, I feel it in my stomach? Well, it is a sensation that we do have when we feel something about a person, about a situation, about maybe not signing that contract and we don't feel good about it, it probably is true because what's in here is what we really feel about that situation. So it can be, on the other token, can be also a good thing. If you feel something good, oh, it's a good thing, I feel it in my gut, that means that it's good. So go with that person, sign that contract, go to that situation. Because the, this center is where we need to feel, or where we do feel it, and where everything of the emotion happens. So also take care of your stomach from the inside, because eating good food, real food, not processed, will help you not only stay active, not only staying uh, healthy, but also feeling better. So now the gold color can be activated or can be balanced. Now why do we need to activate the gold color? Well, uh, if you are in that specific moment of your life, when you need to change something strategically, uh, uh, change a situation, or set up some heavy goals, you know, buy a home, maybe get married, and, and you want to know, is that the right person to marry? Is that the right house to buy? These are hard decisions. And uh, you will know that 
that's the moment you want to activate your gold chakra. It will give you the power that you need to go through some decision. So how do you, how do we um, activate the chakra? We can do two things, okay? We can decorate with gold or we can wear something gold. If we decorate it with gold, what do we do? It's, um, it's easy, first of all, if you have a picture frame, some of them uh, frame them in gold. If you have uh, curtains, maybe the tie back should be gold. Um, if you have, for instance, uh, in, in the place where you set your gold, your office or your home office, then you can decorate with some other items in gold, like um, a throw, uh, like uh, some pillows. But let's say, for instance, in, in my office, I have on the left, on the right side of my computer, I have a vintage lamp that has, I attached uh, gold uh, coins that I brought from different countries I've been to. So that's real money and real, and they are gold pieces. On the other side of the computer, I have another lamp that is crystal and has a gold base. But then on the corner, I have uh, a ball with three small balls with crystal uh, details in it, insert, and that's when the light of the sun touches those balls, it shimmers all over the room and makes very pretty games of colors. So another thing that we can do when we are accessorizing gold is to add uh, some crystal. Crystal, a crystal bowl, a crystal vase will pick up all the other colors and reflect the hues and uh, project it on the walls as well. Again, so you have double the effect. But now, if we are wearing something gold, what do we do? And we can have one piece or two in gold, let's say a piece of jewelry. We can have a pair of shoes, let's say, a pair of shoes, uh, golden shoes, under a black outfit it will look very nicely. Or we can have something like this. This is a skirt and a pair of pants at the same time. So one time I can wear as a skirt with a, a, a leather jacket. The next time I can wear it with as a pants with a long duster. So what I'm saying when you wear gold, be careful, not too much because gold on the eyes of others that see you is kind of distractive and it's, um, it's a bit kitschy if you have too many gold things. So be careful when you wear it. The other things that we do is when we decorate or wearing uh, gold, we can balance it. Now, balancing one color is, um, you have to look at what other colors of chakras are next to it. So below we have Below the golden light that is here in the middle of the stomach, we have orange of the sacral chakra, and up above we have the green of the heart, which is the vital force of our chest. Green is found, found in nature. Green and gold look really nice because if we are under the sunlight, the leaves are green, the uh, grass is green, so they look good just as they are. Nature has done it for us. We can just repeat it and do it again. And so there isn't much thinking there. Nature's, nature has already done it. And let's say you want to kick it up a little more, so you balance it with green, now you want some other uh, of, let's say, vitality into the composition, 
Then you go with the orange, which is down here in the sacral chakra, orange or tangerine. So let's say you have this grass. It's green, and we are under the sunlight. And we put some poppies, and we put some marigold uh, in orange. Don't they look good? Yes, they do, because nature does it for us. So we're there to copy it. And in fact, here I have a, an outfit just to show you. Here it is. A, I will pick it up. OK. This is a cashmere sweater. It's green. It's forest green. A voile scarf in orange. And just a little chain in gold. That's all you need. Now, I do this kind of combination all the time because it's vibrant, it's different, it's new. And the rest of it, you can have a green pair of pants, a skirt. You can have just one color of these. Green, I would do green, brown, black, whatever, but stay with three colors. And here we have, we have gold, orange, and green. So. Right there is your combination. And when we decorate with three colors, the same thing we do what we have done before in, the decora in decorating our room, especially the room where we have our goal set. Then we have um, a life plant in a room. We have some candles. Candles could be orange. We have some pillows that can be green, and a throw rug can be in the golden shades, and some other pillow with golden fabric. So mixing and matching these three colors in the decorating will just give you a vibrant vitality and something pretty to look at. So basically, it's, um, it's very easy. There isn't much to think about these colors. But some, sometimes people have asked me, but I don't like gold. I, what do I do? It's like, why do I have to um, activate gold if I don't wear it? OK, first of all, let me tell you something. If you have a, a nagging pain in the back, what do you do? You let it go, forget about it. Oh, tomorrow will be gone. Fine, you can do that. So what I'm saying is, if you're taking care of the rest of the physical body that is in pain or unbalanced, you go somewhere. You go to a chiropractor. You go to a uh, acupuncturist. You go and take care of it. So why shouldn't you take care of your emotional uh, part of the body? Why sh shouldn't you take care of chakra? And there are professionals, uh, experts who know how to do that. I know how to combine colors with the chakras. I know how to do, I do that very well. And I know when things are out of balance, I feel it. And let me tell you, the stomach is an indication. If you know that something is, you feel it in the stomach, it's right there, your answer. You need to balance your gold chakra. There is another way that you can do that is, for instance, having some a glass of water with a golden uh, paper on top. You put it in the sun. You can drink that water that has received the sun ray through the gold color. And, and then you can drink that water as well. So changing colors, it's very important. Remember that your life will be transformed. And uh, colors are very powerful because they do change your vibration, your life. And people will notice the different things about you because different colors have different lights on different skins. And if you have been using the same colors all your life, your face becomes duller. And, uh, and then there is no life. So just try to change and be prepared 
to change your color because it is really, really good for us and for those who look at you. Now, um, I am being uh, signaled that the show should end now, is coming to an end. So my show of Valentina uh, Design Universe will come on every month on the third uh, Friday of every month. So stay tuned and uh, I will see you next time again with guests the next time. Ciao! Change your colors and you will change your life. Bye!